All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors to the apostles. and elders, a great millstone. Peace of to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. You know, this is just a quick in transit. You know, as I was listening to Elder Manatha Zak's video, you know, uh, you know, doing some some uh, morning errands. And um, what you see is, you know, fast food places are always packed, jam packed. All right. And the spirit just hopped on me to say, you know, E is going to use your convenience against you. Right. This is what E is going to do. E is going to use these things. That are so convenient for you against you. Right? Because this this how this this how this devil operates. And everything is at the click of a button. Everything is at your hand at any given moment. Right? So what is E going E gonna do? He's gonna do use these things that are convenient for you against you. Right? Like I said, everything is a, a click of a button away, right? From a computer, right? From your mini computer, which is your, your phone, right? From just, you know, hopping in your car, driving to go get some 10, 15 minutes away. Or even if you don't want to do that, like I say, a click of a button away, Uber, you got Uber Eats, right? It got to the point where people don't even, you know, uh, order food, you know, or the way they order food now is by having someone else go pick their food up because they don't want to leave the house to go pick their food up. See, these things are convenient. But see, E is going to use these things against you. This is what, is, this is what, this is what he's going to do. And see, this is what happens, right, when you got to go to the devil for the one of all things because he's able to what? He's able to control these things, right? He's able to control these things. Right now, as the scripture says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Matter of fact, let's go get them scripts. When, you, when we bring this out, people act like, you know, the Edomite, the so-called white man, ain't the devil that's ruling the earth right now. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So right now, as we see who is ruling, the devil right the earth is given into his hands he is the one who has total control right he is when you think about uh, going to someone for the one of all things when you think about the water supply when you think about the food supply chain when you think about uh, vehicles right manufacturers uh farms and jake jake don't got shit compared to e guy because you got people who come on come on war and say well you got black farmers this and you know you got black uh you know manufacturers yeah not really not like that and if the little bit that we do have somewhat okay of the israelites having uh portions of certain things it's a very small portion and guess who it still goes back to e guess whose face is still on the money e so he controls this okay you could tell a person by ruling a person is right uh, a person by ruling or a nation by ruling is what their face is on the money right let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 you bear with me because I'm in you know on the road I believe it's about about uh Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 40 It says Therefore Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies Which the Lord shall send against Against thee right Then Edom might Edom come against us Along with the other nations right They besieged us in 70 AD And what happened we fled Okay, we fled from our homeland, Jerusalem, 
into what into the interiors or the exteriors of you know west africa and different parts of africa and different places around the, uh you know the world where, where we were able to make haste to escape to this is what happened so our enemies came against us due to our disobedience against the lord thy god okay we hearken into the commandments we'd be blessed right if we if we you know disobey the commandments well we'd be cursed as the scriptures say you know all these things shall befall thee so as moreover all these what curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed you see so there you go but i want to jump back at 48 okay <clears throat> It says, therefore, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in a want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, like I said, you know, he has control over everything at this time. OK, he controls all the resources and he's going to use these things that are convenient for you. Right against you. He's gonna use these things that's convenient for you against you, man. Why? Because he's the devil, right? And since he has people's mind already uh, uh, wrapped into these things, right? Into his, uh, you know, his his, his deception, into his his his, uh, his miracles, right? Into his left hand energy. People are going to be quick to do so, do these different things that he's going to set up, right? Let's let's talk about the you know the MOTB for instance. We already know that you know buying and selling, you're going to have to head an MOTB, right? We already know that, but as he's making things in the world, you know, digitalize what these things are being what convenient, okay? These things are being convenient. People gonna say, "Well, shit, why not?" At my convenience, I can do this. At my convenience, I can do that. I can open my car door. I don't gotta carry keys. I don't have to carry my wallet, right? I can. I don't have to carry, you know, another big set of keys, you know, for work. I could just use a chip in my hand, right? I could just use a chip in my hand to do everything. Wow, this is great, right? If something happened to me. You know, you know, uh, you know. If anything happened to me, uh, all a doctor gotta do is, you know, grab my hand, you know, and, and scan it, and then they could tell exactly what's going on with me. It's to people's convenience, man. You know, and people are going to use it. Okay. So lock your portal. People are going to use these things to their advantage. Or Salakia. I say E, e is going to use this thing to their to his advantage, advantage. Because why? It's convenient to you, Jake. Or not just not just Jake, you know. The, the world. <clears throat> Salakia, I got distracted with trying to park. You know? But like I was saying, that, that's pretty much the point. You know, of dealing with, you know, how when you see... How these people's minds are, are so wrapped up, okay, into all the shit that's going on uh, around them. How they're just quick to, you know, jump on board with different things. Slug. Okay. 